Our story actually begins with X-Men Origins Wolverine, where we see Wade Wilson join a team run by Colonel William Stryker, alongside his Wolverine, Sabretooth, Bo, Agent Zero, John Wraith and The Blob, and they go on a bunch of top secret missions. The team however gets disbanded, and 6 years later we see that Wade gets captured and taken to Stryker's base where he gets tested on as a catalyst for the Weapon 11 project, and he gets the power of many dead mutants, becoming quite literally a Deadpool. But he does lose his mouth, he fights Wolverine and ends up getting decapitated but we see that he is actually alive. The events of Days of Future Past happen and all of this is supposedly erased, but that's a completely different debate on its own. The next time we see Wade Wilson is the 2016 movie Deadpool, where Wade is a mercenary for hire. He meets Vanessa and the two fall in love, however Wade finds out that he has cancer and it's terminal. Seeking a cure, he meets a mysterious recruiter and he gets taken away to a facility where Ajax, or Francis, supposedly will treat him. But instead it is a place where they experiment on mutations and they activate Wade's mutation by subjecting him to low oxygen conditions. As a side effect of the mutation he gets a disfigured face, so he seeks out revenge and hunts down Ajax, hoping that he can get fixed. Along the journey we meet Colossus and Negasonic Teenage Warhead who try and stop Wade from going down a path of vengeance. We also meet Dopinder, a taxi driver who's a massive fan of Deadpool and Blind Owl, Wade's blind roommate. However Ajax has kidnapped Vanessa. Wade fights him and kills him with the help of Colossus and Negasonic Teenage Warhead, and Vanessa and Wade reunite. Two years later we see that Wade is still a contract killer but with powers. One of the contracts he was hired for ends up killing Vanessa and Wade is depressed. He tries many methods to cope with it, those include blowing himself up, hanging out in the X-Mansion, complaining about the X-Men and many more. We see that a young mutant named Russell has been causing havoc at the Essex house for mutant rehabilitation and Deadpool who is now an honorary X-Man pulls up to calm the situation. However things go chaotic as per usual and Wade and Russell are arrested and sent to the icebox where Wade's healing powers don't work due to a mutation suppressor. Let's take a detour for a second and talk about Cable, a time travelling mutant who wants to kill Russell as a child because Russell killed his family in the future. Cable arrives to the prison and attacks Wade and Russell and Wade is completely outmatched due to the lack of powers. Wade then suffers a near death experience where he sees a vision of Vanessa who tells him to protect and look after Russell. So Wade assembles a team of mutants known as the X-Force, except they all die, besides Domino and Wade. Then we see a car chase ensue where Cable is trying to attack Russell and Wade is trying to stop Cable. Russell releases the juggernaut who tears Wade in half. Then at Wade's apartment we see that Cable has decided to help Wade find Russell, since if they fight the juggernaut alone, they don't stand a chance. So Wade recruits Colossus and Negasonic Teenage Warhead for a final showdown against Russell. Wade sacrifices himself which changes the future and also Russell's heart, but Cable feels bad and goes back in time and saves Wade. We then see Wade go back in time to save Vanessa, kill the Merc without a mouth and also Ryan Reynolds himself who is reading the Green Lantern script. Subscribe and comment below your favourite part of Deadpool.